Now let's talk about the uh, X paths. Fine. Uh, look, if you have to assert something, if you have to validate something in an XML, you can use X path also. Right. Uh, for example, uh, taking a very simple example, suppose you have an XML like this, wherein you have got tag names like this, that is student tag, right? Student tag closes. Fine. And inside this, you have suppose student record, name of the student, right? course which the student is doing okay suppose you have an xml like this a very simple xml right now xpath is like the address of the element in this xml for example xpath for the course can be written as student slash course that means under the student tag there is a course tag Fine or double slash course. This can also be the X path. If I have to retrieve the value of the course, then this X path can be used. The X path for the name can be written as double slash name or double slash student slash name. All right. In our case, in our case, uh, sorry, in our case, the this. Yeah, here is the SOAP UI. Yeah, there is the response looks like this. The response is out here. There are similar kind of tags, right? If I write over here, for example, everything is inside SOAP body, right? In under SOAP body, you have got NS1 uh, add product response. Then you have the return tag. Then you have the product details tag. Under the product details tag, you have got various items. Fine. This is how the response, our response is like. Okay, just hold on. I'll just maximize it. Fine. So if I have to look at the category name under the first item, fine. So what will be the X path? I can start from product details, right? Product details starts here. It ends somewhere out here. Okay, so I can keep an X path like this. That is under product details, right? Go inside item tag of the index one. If I have to go inside the first item tag, right, I'll have to write this kind of X path. And under that, there is a category name tag access that. By writing this kind of X path, I can access the value of the first. Uh, item the first category name fine or quantity or price whatever you want to write if I give an X path like this double slash category name then this X path practically represents all categories which are available fine this X path represents all the categories now it depends it depends on the situation you are in if you want to extract all the category names, then you can use this one. If you want this first or second or third one, you can keep on changing the item index over here and you can get the respective one. Right? It is completely upon your requirement. Fine. If I give an X path like this, product details slash item. Now this X path practically represents all the items. Fine. So, you know, this thing only comes with practice. The more you handle your responses, right, the more dynamic responses you handle, the more uh, practice you do, you will come to know. Fine. Now, we can have XPath assertions. With the help of XPaths, you can extract the values at a particular node. These are node, known as nodes in XML. Right. You can extract the value from any node or any tag. And validate it fine how do you do that you'll have to add an assertion property content and you'll have to add an x path match assertion fine so if you look at this x path match now x path are there in the case of soap protocol as well as rest protocol we'll have a look at the rest protocol fine just uh, be with me now first 
uh, click on this button over here declare De this declares the namespace and all which is being used in your uh, what do you say in your application fine now suppose if i give an x path like this out here if i give this x path and i write select from current and if i click on this select from current option right uh, you get hold on and don't give a slash in the end if you write select from current you get this complete block category name this 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 and it's giving you books over here fine it is giving you the complete tag information okay it is giving you the complete tag information of category name fine now if i use a xpath function so you get the complete tag information with this all right if i look at another type of xpath for example i write over here only this much okay that is under the product details tag there is an item tag if i just give this part of the xpath and if i click on uh, select from current hold on more than one match in the current response so in soap ui free version it's not able to select multiple things all right if i write over here item 1 only item 1 then it will give you the first item completely right you can keep it in the expected result if you want and when you have to test it you can click on the test icon and you can test it but this all is manual testing okay you cannot automate the testing this way first of all secondly all right secondly the scope is limited right for each x path i'll have to make one particular X, uh, one particular assertion for example this assertion is for the item tag one fine moreover i'll have to make one more assertion for item tag two okay so this is not something which is very handy and moreover my response is changing every time every time if i send in different products okay i, I will have to come here and change the response in expected response right so that is again not acceptable okay this time i have added books i have added a book called harry potter fine in my xpath match i have said that fine under the books there should be harry potter coming up that's fine but tomorrow if i add a new book then i'll have to change this expected value expected result then it's of no use okay although it makes your work easy to, to, to test manually if your response is small if your request is small the overall web service is very small you can do it like that but practically doing like uh, doing this way is not at all possible okay if your web service is very complex there are dynamic requests especially a web service like this you cannot do it like that okay so uh, what we do we use again a script assertion i'll talk about script assertion fine now uh, the second type I'll just conclude this. Uh, the second type of assertion which we can do is 